everybody. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Megan. And we are sitting in the kitchen with the babies. The babies. The babies. They're going to attack me. The babies. Good morning, babies. Good morning, babies. If you didn't see recently, we acquired two new kittens for the family. And they have been everything. They are chaos voids. But with that being said, if you're new here, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. You subscribe and you hang out with us because today is going to be a super fun day. As today is book club at Nocturne in Salem. And I promised everybody I was not coming back out during spooky season. But here I am, September 21st, my eight year hand fasting anniversary with love. And I'm going back to Salem with my mom for book club. So make sure you stick around, you hang out, and you chill with us for the day because it's going to be fun for the month of september we read here lies a vengeful bitch by cody crowley so if you didn't know cody works at nocturne and every month uh a book is brought forth and we all read it together so it's really fun the book is actually in my bedroom i'm not gonna go and get it but it is a really great spooky vibe why a novel um i read it in two days um i'll have to read the synopsis to you guys in a second because oh my gosh i can hear my crock pot sizzling i made apple butter to make apple cookies so maybe that's what we'll do before we go why are we so bright Look at that, we're in the range of an actual person. Didn't, I forgot what I was taking pictures of. I was taking pictures of something and I needed the light all the way up. Anyways, I don't really know what today is going to bring ahead of time. It is pretty much a book vlog. And then we'll drive out to Salem. And then we'll be at Salem again tomorrow because, you know, it is what it is. So I hope you stick around. I hope you enjoy. These are the last two videos going up before we start vlogtober so if you don't know what vlogtober is vlogtober is where i post every single day for the month of october so if you like casual if you like short if you love my channel make sure you tune in during october because there will be new content every single day for you to enjoy last year was the first year i did it i felt very triumphant very achieved it was a huge goal of mine so we're back at it again this year even though it's incredibly draining it <laughs> takes a lot of effort to get those videos up for you every single day i did start filming ahead of time so we had a we have a little bit of leeway a little bit of space to get that done but i'm gonna go drink my coffee which is just normal medium roast with the Chobani pumpkin spice creamer in it. I don't actually even have a cute Halloween mug. I just grabbed this one this morning, which is still witchy. But I'm gonna go drink my coffee. I'm gonna work on some things and I will come in and check on you guys later. No. All right, getting ready. These already have a huge run on them, the tights. I'll show you the full fit in a second, but I was gonna throw these tights out because I got all pilly, but for the sake of it, we're gonna put some more holes in it. Uh, I've been doing this for a long time. Don't buy holes, um, hold tights online. Okay, my favorite way to do it is to use a um, sanding paper block, but you know, you could just cut it. But when you do it, like when you rub it, it becomes, um, it helps makes the pulls in it. So it adds more of a tech, a distress texture. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm talking about, but 
because of that, we'll just, all you have to do is snip, little snips, and then we let it run. My favorite one that I ever had had a double hulk. You don't want to do it too big because it will stretch. Oh my gosh, how did this become a ripped tight tutorial? But you can do them next to each other and they necessarily, they won't necessarily reach. See? You can rub it with your fingers, stretch it a little bit. We definitely need one big one right here. These are like the kitchen scissors, so they're not actually doing, well, I guess they're more doing their job because we're distressing, we're not. There. Oh, where's mushroom? We want mushroom visible. The whole point was to get the mushroom to, anyways, I'm gonna focus on ripping these in a stylized way where you're not gonna see my bum. And then I'll show you, oh, I guess you guys gotta kinda see the fit. Go put a couple more holes in these. No, 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 no. Sit. Start in and zoom out. Okay, so we're in the car and it's starting to rain and me and mom were just saying that while we really enjoyed uh, Here Lies A Vengeful Bee right here, you know, it's not very deep, so for us to not have a lot to say, it was very, very entertaining. Do not get us wrong, but because it is raining, like, you can't really see it. You can see it in the front window. And you can probably hear it pinging. That we don't have a lot to say about it right now to actually talk about it on our car ride. So I will touch base with you guys, like, while after, when I have time to talk about it a little bit more. Uh, just because... It, normally I reserve this time in the car to talk with my mom and since we can't we're not really feeling like having a conversation right now because of the rain I will see you guys when we get to Salem and hopefully it's not raining too hard because it's almost impossible for me to hold everything I made little treats little snackies I don't know how I'm gonna how I'm gonna carry everything also I'm working on a blanket <laughs> we were supposed to we're, rewind that last clip because me when I turned off the uh, whatever this is I'm holding the camera I go, that was super negative, and that's not how we want to do it. And so, that's and that's not how I feel about the book at all. So what we were saying ahead of time was that we were both incredibly entertained by the story itself. Yeah. It is YA, so do know that when you go into it, it is YA, which to somebody who loves to analyze, just becomes entertainment, like watching um, Buffy, or like, yeah, like, exactly. like Buffy. Yeah, yeah okay, exactly. exactly. I would compare Buffy. Totally. There we go. 100%. So there we go. That was the exact word. Yeah. So, which we love. We yeah. love Buffy. Yep. Um, if I you really haven't, hold on. If you haven't read it, we are going to have some spoilers. So I'm not going to put the time clip in, but just no, we'll try not to spoil it as much. Like, I don't really like, you know, plot wise because. Yeah, we won't. We won't give away the ending. Oh yeah, like the, the yeah. whole, that, yeah. that ending. I yeah. was like, yeah. I was like, what is there to give up? I was like, oh! <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, so what were you gonna say? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, I was gonna say, I started reading it oh, yeah. and I didn't want to stop reading it. Yeah. I, I started reading it and I was very entertained by it and I wanted to continue reading it until I was done. So I, I read it in two days because two days. I was very interested in it. I wanted to see what was happening with the story. I wanted to keep, you know, finding I'm out laughing what was going at on. your hand gestures because I'm not, I don't have, I'm like showing half of you and then because you're wearing the beige sweater, it looks, it doesn't, like, I'm only showing clips. It doesn't look, it's not the most flattering shot that I'm just sorry. seeing. No, don't be sorry that I, the, the lighting is not good wow. professional lighting, but I'm laughing at your hand gestures because I do the same thing. Like, it's just, you can't <laughs> see it. Anyways, it was incredibly entertaining. I want more about the twins. I okay. love the twins. There's a lot that I'm hoping she's gonna write a second novel. Well, no. Well, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna hound at you, Cody. When we're gonna see you in a little bit. There better be more because I got a lot of questions. I need answers. I don't like. I want more. I yeah, want. I want more. More, more cowbell. 
That's what we yeah. need, more yeah. cowbell I, here. I, it left me wanting more too, and I, I'm assuming she's doing that because she's planning on writing a the second sequel. book. Yeah. yeah. Because I was talking to another friend who made the same assumption also, yeah. but it, I will harass Cody. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I, I, I'm assuming that's, that's why that was done that but, way. The thing that I really, I love, I want more backstory for the characters. I want to know yes. more about each of the personalities of the characters of this. And there is so much possibility to go yeah. into them. Very much like the Haunted Mansion ghost, which if you didn't know, Disney has backgrounds for every single ghost in the Haunted Mansion. Mm -hmm. Google it. So each one has its own personality and everything. And that's what it really felt like, that very whimsy, very kind of goofy yes. things. And I just need more. I need exactly. more. And I, it left me very much wanting to know the backstory to each of the other main characters. You can't see her house. hand gestures to go yeah. to each of the characters. <laughs> um, um, yeah, and that's a good thing. Like, yeah. It made me very interested in those characters and wanting to know. I don't know if we could say how they died. I mean, yeah. you, you learned very quickly yeah, that, that yeah. they are. Either, so, that, well, they, I said Haunted Mansion. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know how, how, why they're there, how they got there, what their backstory is. Yeah, because um, some of them you don't. You have don't. Anything. You don't get anything. You know, two of them you get a little hint. Deer. Was there anything about deer? No. That's so. Yeah, deer. I want more about. The, the um, snake guy. The snake. Yeah. You know, uh, Vir Virgil. Yeah. Virgil, is that his name? I, I don't remember names in books ever. The twins, Hunt love, and Howl. I, I want to know the about twins. the twins, Hunt and Howl. They're my I, favorite. They are my favorite too, but I also then think about the twins in Nine. I loved the twins in the, the t um, Nine with the, the little robots, the little I, cloth I sack. Nine. Yes, he did. Um, I, I love them. There's twins. Yeah, there's twins in that one too. I don't know, something about quirky twins yeah. being like in horror and dark like things, like the twins in American Horror Story the first season too. Okay. Like I love the playfulness in yeah. like, I, I guess the psychology of twins in horror. The Shining Twins, like, like that is yeah. iconic. Like it's just so, it's chef's kiss. I love it. But they're so quirky and I really want to know about their art like a lot more. Yeah, like uh, the butterflies and the paintings. Like yeah. I really want to know about the details. Yeah. I want and, and I like how more. she did that. I like how she got you really interested in their character. Exactly. That was done really well. Um, <laughs> that's, leave that's my it. hands alone. <laughs> leave leave Lord Byron, Byron alone. alone. I'm supposed to name the cats Lord Byron, but I, know, I didn't. That would have been really good. Should have been Mary Shelley and Lord Byron. Uh, anyways. That would have been excellent. Um, yeah, now we're umming again. So I think that really covers everything well, no, that we said. I also want to say that I know you said you had an inkling about Oh, who, who yeah, yeah, the, the plot. You know, the Colonel Mustard yeah. in, the, in the drawing room I with the candlestick. Not, I did not until the very last you know the last chapter when she pretty much I wasn't I wasn't trying to and I wasn't trying to be ironic either my brain just picks up on patterns in the way writing st like I guys I hit over a hundred books this year I read a lot of thrillers I read a lot of horror I pick up on patterns very easily it does not mean it's poorly written or anything it just is the way this 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 brain works yeah, my neuro putting, spicy yeah. brain you're putting puzzles together at three like box yeah box, like oh. 50 like the pieces that are meant for like big kids like the big ones i really like puzzles there should you should have known you should have known what <laughs> mom you came you love. should the puzzles and then i couldn't color anything that wasn't matching exact i couldn't be creative it had to match it exactly that you should have known you the socks the there. socks yeah. <laughs> should have known baby. yeah the OG of, of us anyways there there were signs that we missed <laughs> blatant signs that if you saw it now you'd be like huh we know anyway <laughs> can't go back that all makes sense yeah we all have um, a favorite tree yeah <laughs> so I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed the book like I said I think it was really well written I was yeah. totally entertained by it was it. very entertaining I mean I read it while I was like <laughs> dying <laughs> I was sick but yeah. um no like I said when I picked it up and started reading I didn't want to put it down I wanted to continue to read and finish the story and, and my mom's old school when it comes to books so if she doesn't like something <laughs> parody <laughs> she's gonna beg it <laughs> 
she's gonna put it down. I'm, I'm a classic literature writer. You're old school when it comes to all of the things that are now, I wouldn't necessarily call it all classics, but. Most of my background is in classic reading, all of the real, real. Because that's all there was. No, that was my choice. Anyways. Yeah. I've never seen that Arbor Shock big, the Arbor Shock room, bar, 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 bar. I don't know. The hardware store, the one that's in Greenfield, there was like a big uh, one, the one that I can't say. <laughs> yeah, that Abishon. one, yeah. Avachon. That one. Applesauce. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think I've made fun of myself and my mom enough for this clip. We've got eight minutes on top of what we have. I can now see you guys in Salem on a positive note. We love Cody. We love Cody's book. I need more. Yes. Like, I, there better be I need, there book. better be a sequel. Yeah. Cody. Oh, and the, that ghost baby thing. I need to know what the heck's up with that. The smoke? Yeah. The, like, the, yeah, the smoke thing. And yeah. that's all you can say. Yeah, the smoke thing. Yeah, I, I uh, mean, it was left as not all people here are friends. It's yeah. like it cleared like we need more, Cody. We need more, okay? Yeah. All right, I'll see you guys in Salem. See you at Nocturne. Close the door. I'm using the light. Not, we just pulled into the parking lot by the Witch City Mall. You can hear the bells of I think it's that church over there. We're gonna go get some fatties. It's raining. I was worried we weren't gonna find parking because it is the Vampire Ball weekend, but like it's also my anniversary weekend. So we've been here before and we never have a problem with parking and it's always the same weekend. So I don't know why I was having anxiety, but we're gonna go get some fatties, then drop them off in the car, grab my goodies in the car, and then go to book club.